So today we're going to go over a 2013 Escape. Escape's been one of the top sellers for years and years and years, ever since they actually came out. Uh, but Ford has radically changed what we're doing now. If you take a look at this vehicle, this is a complete different Escape than we're used to now. We have changed the outside, we've changed the inside, we've of course upped the technology because we are Ford. And we really like to be on the high end of the technology and packaging. So what I want to do is I want to go over some of the changes that they've actually gone from. First thing we're going to start is just right on the front. You can take a look at the whole front. It's a completely different dynamic to the to the vehicle. We've got rid of some of the boxiness and we really added a, a very nice smooth look to it. A lot of this look is uh, starts at the hood. You can see that the hood is very pronounced and you see uh, the raise in the middle. Now this raise in the middle, what this actually does is called the power dome hood style. What the power dome hood does is it actually deflects the air. Ford is now, we, we stopped designing everything and then putting it into a wind tunnel. We can do this on the computer, so you can shave a millimeter here or there to get you the best fuel economy out of it. So what this does, it actually sweeps the, the wind over top of the vehicle, and these will funnel it around the side. And it'll actually hit here and curve around, and that leaves a dead spot here. So when you're driving down the highway, you don't have a wind whistle, it just creates a noise vacuum. Not an actual vacuum itself, but just a noise vacuum, which is pretty nice to see. You can see on the front, they still kept a nice bold front, so you know that it is a Ford you're taking a look at. You can see we've actually gone with the newer style headlamps, a little brighter. Not the annoying kind, everyone hates on the highway, but we do have a little brighter light so you can see a little better. Once you take a quick look at these, we have some sensors here, you can see them on the front. Ford has, this one has parking assist technology. So what these sensors do is they'll actually measure the space. So you tell it you want to park to this side, uh, to the left or to the right, it'll measure the space, make sure you fit, it'll tell you that you'll fit. It'll actually give you directions and it will parallel park itself. You've got to remember you still control the bank, uh, the brake on it, but it makes sure that you can get in and out, no problem at all, with no big lineups or anything else like that. EcoBoost technology is Ford and it is only in a Ford. What it does for you, this is the 2 liter EcoBoost. Uh, the previous models had a 2.5 4 cylinder or a 3 liter V6. We now have gotten rid of the V6s, you only have 4 cylinders now. We have a 2.5 as their standard motor, a 1.6. EcoBoost or the 2 liter EcoBoost. 2 liter EcoBoost actually replaces the 3 liter V6 and it actually has more horse, a little more torque on it with that fuel saving sipping power. What they've done is the EcoBoost technology is basically a, it's a cool turbo system so they can actually get more air in and it burns more efficiently. Coming around the front, we of course feature My Ford, My Ford Touch. I think we're all familiar with that by now. This is a technology that came out in 2011, but what it does is it really allows the te technology to take over and make your driving experience much better. We'll have you come on inside and I'll go over a couple of those features for you. Now as I said before, we actually don't have to uh, use a key or anything. As you can see, if I just depress the brake and I hit the button, my vehicle will actually start. I don't have the keys in my hand, I don't need to have them there. Very smart, easy technology. As you can see, we have a lot, of, we have a lot going on in this dock, but a lot of it's very simple. We have My Ford, which is over here, and we have My Ford Touch. My Ford is the correct information that you actually need out of your vehicle. So what it does is how many distance, uh, how many kilometers to empty, uh, fuel economy that you're getting. Uh, with the My Key, now remember all Fords have My Key standard now. That's a parental control for your vehicle. So what it allows you to do is you can set the speed the vehicle go, uh, the radio doesn't come on unless your seatbelts are on. So it's like you're sitting over your sh uh, the shoulder of the driver that you have here. So you can control all that here. On the steering wheel you can see we have cruise control. We also have sync. Sync is a fantastic technology for your Bluetooth phones that allows you to uh, program up to 13 different devices to this vehicle. Um, so it's very adaptable to uh, a multi-driver use. See here we have the my, uh, we have the uh, garage link, the home link system. And you can see here we actually have a couple nice features. We do have the uh, power moonroof on this one. And as you can see it actually becomes the whole roof now it becomes glass. So it gives you that more open feeling and everything else. And we can open up the front over the drivers just to give you that little nice fresh air thing. You also see here we actually have what's called ambient lighting and I can change the colors of, uh, of my interior cup holders and I can change the intensity so I can really personalize my vehicle. My Ford Touch is really nice. Everything becomes touch activated or with the sync media system, voice activated. I can change the temperature, I can change radio stations, I can change CDs, I can change media devices, I can change absolutely everything by voice. I can get it directions, I can tell it I'm hungry, and it'll actually direct me to a restaurant. So it makes life nice and easy, and it makes life simple. You can see here with your heated seats, 
They actually have five separate settings on it, so you can really personalize the vehicle to exactly what you want. We do have dual temperature control on here, and it's automatic temperature control. So it actually allows you to set it and forget it. Not to steal something from Ron Popeil, but I just did. <laughs> so there we go, guys. That's the 2013 Escape. Hope you enjoyed it. If you ever want to come down and drive one, come on down and see us down at Booster Ford.